So we're gonna do our little thing and see if we can contact anybody. Sweet. I got the Ouija board on me. Ouija. Ouija. Ouija board. Ouija. I called you the other day because I was at Toys R Us. They had the actual Milton Bradley whatever. <laughs> but it glows in the dark. So it kind of it's the only one they're selling right now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a toy. <laughs> yep, yep. Sweet. We're back at the Ezekiel Harris house, obviously this time it's night. Um, they just finished the candlelight tour that they do for the holidays, so we have the right ambiance going tonight. We are in the upstairs bedroom, which is where Ezekiel Harris and his wife slept and tended the kids in the room to our rear here, and probably did most of their living since they did have a lot of guests in this house. So we're going to use the Ouija board as a controversial item in ghost hunting, but we're going to see what kind of results we can get. We're going to attempt to determine if the woman that has been seen here is indeed Mrs. Glass, who is associated with the Mackey Trading Post, which is where her sons were hanged, but it's been discovered that that house was further down towards the river and not this house or if the woman that has been seen here is indeed Mrs. Harris, who I believe, if there is a woman here, that's who it would be, because Ezekiel was not the uh, best guy, probably gave her many nights of worry. So I suspect that what people have seen is actually Mrs. Harris um, pacing the porch, worrying that her husband might not be coming home. So we're going to attempt to contact the woman that's been seen here and see if we can determine who it is. What we have here is a handmade Ouija board. Ouija was probably invented in the late 1800s. Now versions of this have been around such much longer, actually maybe as early as 520 BC, but the actual Ouija board itself didn't come around until about 1890. Um, this one our good leader, Chris Libby, has made for us, and it has the standard alphabet numbers, your yes and no, and your goodbye. Um, the use of the Ouija depends on the users, whatever you feel comfortable with. But the basic is it should rest either on a table or on each of our laps. We should have a male and female using it. We're each going to place our fingers lightly on the planchette and watch the pointer move around the board. Now our fingers should be so lightly placed that it's not possible for us to be moving the planchette ourselves. It should be the spirits working through us to move it, but as we all know, the biggest objection to Ouija is that it is possible for the users to move the planchette. Still, it doesn't necessarily negate the results. So let's see what we what we get. Well, another thing is I was supposed to when I the uh, when I was making it, which I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> uh, the girl that I was making it with was um. She told me to put those little protection symbols, symbols in the corners there. So, that's I don't good. know if that's anything or not, but I put them there. So these little, like, upside down yeah, that things? Yeah. Right there, mm -hmm. okay. There's one in each corner, right? Okay. That's cool. Yes, right. pent pentagrams, pentacles are common symbols on the Ouija board for protection. So it, it's not unusual. Now some of the modern ones you'll see actually people down here, but those are usually boards that were made about 1950 and after. So the protection symbols on the bottom is very common. Well, I'm going to guess here, but I would think that protection symbol is, is like, sort of like the pentagram. It actually symbolizes a person and doesn't actually, it's not a random symbol. 